In Kunduz, Afghanistan, people in need of desperate help are being turned away. Outside this hospital, the crowd is confused and angry in equal measure, unsure why they're being shut out. The problem is that my wife has delivered a baby in the back of this car and there is no one to ask about her. They say that there are no doctors, even if the patient is seriously wounded, no one would care about it. Some of the facility's staff are just as overwhelmed. Five injured people just arrived. One is lying here and the other one is in the other room. There are seven urgent patients, but there are no doctors. I don't know why there are no doctors here. They are saying that a doctor's son was kidnapped and they are not working. Inside Kunduz Regional Hospital, the scene is also chaotic. Doctors who feel increasingly under threat deciding to go on strike until security services can better protect them and their families. We live in a violent situation and still our children are being kidnapped. When they kidnap my children and I suffer in this situation, how could I treat someone else's child? In the past year alone, at least three of the sons of different doctors working here were kidnapped. On this day, staff had just learned of the third child that had been taken. Even after security intervened, the frustration did not dissipate. While the police chief would not speak to Al Jazeera at the hospital, security officials said they are doing all they can to ensure any and every kidnapped child is returned to their families. All of this underscores how dire circumstances remain for both patients and doctors. The Kunduz Regional Hospital, which has since reopened to patients, is the only modern healthcare facility left in this area. In October 2015, dozens of people were killed when the U.S. repeatedly bombed a hospital operated by Doctors Without Borders. Now, while many are concerned that the Taliban, which briefly took control of the city twice in the past two years, will be back, others worry how and if they will be able to get medical care. Mohammed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera.